last one, two, three, four minutes, sometimes longer. If you were to ask me during this period, I shall not respond to you. And afterwards, I shall have no awareness that I had a seizure. Okay? I may feel a little odd. I may feel a little tired. But that's the end of it. And if you, if you were to ask me, do you remember that you lost one year? No. I thought you were doing something funny. You're fiddling with your clothes. You're doing smacking movements, or your eyelids were fluttering. Did you know that? No. We have no awareness. So we have no awareness of that surroundings, and that's our complex part of the season. And the third type of seizure is third type of partial seizure that it can start as a simple partial seizure or a complex partial seizure and it may remain that or it may then progress into a generalized tonic tonic seizure. Let's say, you know, I'm talking to you all of a sudden, <coughs> what is this nasty smell, this smell of rotten eggs? And a few seconds later, I lose consciousness. Okay. I would have fallen to the ground. Pardon? I'm sorry. Oh, that was a simple partial season coming from that area of the brain where the smell is represented. Then it spread to both cerebral hemispheres so that I lost consciousness. I developed a tonic spasm. Okay? The reason I emitted a <coughs> cry because uh, when the chest muscles contracted, they pushed air <coughs> through my glottis, closed glottis, through my voice box. <coughs> and I became, when I had a tonic spasm, I became blue in the face because my there was no exchange of air in the lungs. But when I developed chronic jerking, this is this is tonic phase, this is chronic jerking, then there was an exchange of air, my color came back. There's frothing at the mouth. I may bite my tongue, I may bite my lip, I may bite my cheek. There may be a blood-stained uh, saliva in my mouth, you know, in my mouth. A person may lose control of urine, control of bowel during these uh, generalized tonic chronic seizures. Okay? This is preceded by a simple or a complex partial seizure. So we understand simple partial, Complex partial, secondarily generalized tonic season. Okay? Any question? At last we understand this. Okay? And then we have generalized seasons. <coughs> the generalized seasons are opposite. There are multiple kinds of generalized seasons. That means the Caesar activities. When we seizure activity occurs, it involves both cerebral hemispheres simultaneously. And there can be absence, myoclonics, myoclonic, clonic, tonic, 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 atonic. Absence is a very common type of a seizure. Who gets it? Children. Children five, <coughs> five six, seven years, eight years old. Okay? And they, may, and they may get multiple, multiple seizures in a day. 10, 20, sometimes hundreds. Usually they <coughs> tend to occur first thing in the morning. Child in a class, the teacher may think that the child is not paying attention. Child is daydreaming. Okay? Eventually, you know, uh, it dawns that something is actually wrong with the child. Child is not daydreaming. And then 
may tell the child, may tell the parent, I think, uh, you know, you better take your child to the pediatrician, okay? And let me, I'm going to impersonate an absence seizure, okay? Usually it's a child, as I said, and all of a sudden they're talking and they stop talking. Please look at me, okay? Okay? They stop talking and stare. fiddle with the clothes, they have eye blink, they smack their lips, but it used lasts for a very short period of time, 10, 15 seconds, 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds on our side, but they don't last long. Pardon? That's an absence seizure, also called hetimol seizure, and we can if we want to see, we ask the child to breathe deep, hyperventilate. And there is an 80 to 85 percent chance that the child will produce a seizure and we can watch the seizure happening right in front of our eyes. Okay? Um, usually when an accident seizure occurs, are, is the child aware of what's happening? No. Um, afterwards, they, do they remember what happened? No, they have no awareness. So epilepsy affects your memory? Pardon? So what stops you from your memory? Because they are not aware of what's going on. They have lost consciousness. Okay? They may appear awake, but their eyes are open. They may appear awake, but they have no awareness of their surroundings. Okay? They are actually unconscious at that time. Okay. There are two aspects of consciousness. One is the appearance of uh, <coughs> looking awake or sleepy, and the second is the content. What makes us human beings is being aware of what our surroundings are. You remember the case of Shaivo? Terry Shaivo? Yes. Okay? The parents were claiming that she was actually conscious. No, she was not conscious. She appeared awake, but she had no awareness of what was going on. Okay? She was in a permanent uh, state uh, where she had no awareness of her Okay? Myoclonic. Myoclonic, myoclonus. What's a myoclonus? It's a sudden jerk. That's a mild, just one. Can it be repeated? Yes, but they're not ready. See, this is cloning. This is cloning, but that's myoclonus. Myoclonus can be epileptic or non-epileptic. Many of us, normally, as we are falling asleep, we have jerks, okay? Right? How many of you have you experienced? Sleeping. Okay. Sleeping. Yes. It's, called, it's called benign hypnagogic myoclonus. Now, these are usually children, and soon after they wake, after they wake up, shortly after they wake up, they have jerks and they may fall to the ground. They may have just of the arms, the legs, or both the arms and the legs. And they may repeat but not in a rhythmic fashion. These children may also have, usually it's a child who is 8, 9, 10 years old, 11, 12 years old. They may also have absence seizures, and they may also have primary generalized tonic, chronic, or band more type seizures. This is a question. Is this like related to Tourette's or something? I'm sorry? I said this related to Tourette's because the stuff that you're doing is no. saying... Tourette is, those are ticks. Oh. Those are ticks, okay? Those are ticks, those are stereotyped ticks. No. This, those are, those are, uh, Tourette is a very different. Okay. 
That's a good question. Okay. Yeah. The calmness forms are actually the generalized tonic. Tonic is like this. Okay. Tonic is like this. But most patients, when they get this generalized seizure, the common seizure is a tonic tonic, and I impersonate it. But they do not get any warning. Okay. They simply lose consciousness. They may fall to the ground if they are standing. And then they <coughs> emit a cry. They have a spasm. And then they start jerking and frothing at the mouth, biting of tongue, etc. etc. Okay? There's a patient who has a little bit of a cancer. Yes, they do. Almost invariably. Okay? Almost always have fun. Okay. Any question about that? Atonic, any absent. All of us have tone. I have tone in my back, that's why I'm standing. If I lose tone, I'll suddenly flop to the ground. And these patients periodically fall to the ground. When a person is having epileptic seizures, they may have multiple seizures in a day, but it's much more common that they may go for days, weeks, months, sometimes even years before they have another seizure. Okay? There are certain types of seizures we can control very easily with medicine. Others, very, very difficult to control. Okay? How do we make diagnosis? We take a very detailed history. from the patient as well as from the eyewitness who witnessed the season. Okay? And we use, we said when we classify, we use, and then we examine the patient very, very, you know, in very detail, not just the neurological examination, but also the general physical and every system we uh, really examine. And then we do EEG. In almost every patient that we suspect seizures, we do an EEG so that we can classify them adequately. Because for each different kind of seizure, there's a different medication that is effective. That's why it's very important to put the seizures into a particular category. Okay? MRI or the CT scan of the brain, we don't do. For example, if a child is having absent seizures or myoclonic seizures, we don't do MRI. On the other hand, if a, say a 60 years old starts developing focal seizures, focal motor seizures involving some, one side of the body or complex partial seizures, we want to do an MRI to make sure that there is not a tumor or some other abnormality in the brain. What is an EEG? We mentioned EEG. EEG is a lactoencephalogram. Uh, it's like the EKG, well, except it's of the brain. EKG is of the heart. And he is actually the record during the EEG, we record one channel of EKG also. When we are recording the EKG, we are magnifying the electrical signal of the heart 1,000 times. The skull is very, very thick. When we are recording brain activity, we are magnifying the electrical signal in the brain 1 million times. Okay? So it's a much greater magnification. What we do is, it takes about an hour to do a routine EEG. First, I let the uh, EEG technologist put some electrodes, multiple, about 23, 24 electrodes over different parts of that. And the, all the odd numbers are on the left, four, four on the right, four on the left, four on the right, and 